Hey folks, how you doing? My name's John, but my friends call me Izzy and you can too. This is Izzy's Painting Workshop. Hey folks, so today I want to paint up this, the uh, Mons Trucker model from the Infinity line. Um, so this is the, 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 the lady but Mons Trucker, there's a, there's a, there's a dude Mons Trucker too. I, I picked the lady one because like, I, I like her pose, she's cool with like, you know, the leg up and the, the two guns. Uh, you know, I think she got a shot, either two shotguns, she got, yeah, two boarding shotguns and I think that's really cool. And I can I can field her in my nomad list, so um, yeah, I just thought it was a really cool sculpt, and like I don't know how well she's actually gonna play in game, but like I don't I don't care. I just like thought it was a cool sculpt, and I can actually use it in the game. So like you know whatever, it's cool. Um, yeah, so let's uh, guess at the table, see what's going on with this. All right, all right, so let's open her up. Um, Mm. Alright, the base. This is the part number for in case any pieces are missing. This is the main bulk of the body. You know, that's her with her cool hat and her like satchel with like grenades and like big or big old like trucker boots. And this is the other parts tag for quality control and this is one shotgun booyah and this is the other shotgun booyah so that's cool and then this is her other leg with tactical rock all right tactical rock check and all right let's get to making her a thing. First we're gonna start with this. We're gonna this is the the base that comes with the model. You can see it's got the it's got the the facing markings on it. So we're gonna try and preserve this and then do that. We'll come back. Alright so we're gonna top that we're gonna spruce this up a little bit by putting this corrugated plastic card on top of it. We're just gonna glue this on top with some testers. There we go. Put some on here. Yep, that that's plastic cement glue smell. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, so let's glue this on top of here. Um, you can see it's just. Big enough to fit over the top. Push that down, and it's melting in. You can already see, like around there, like you can see the black plastic melting into the the white plastic. So that's doing its job. We'll come back later. In the meantime, while this is drying, um, we'll take the burrs off of all this, and we've got our clippers for that. So this is shotgun arm so it's got a lot of it's got a lot of flash on this so take some of that off and like you want the flat part 
you want the flat parts to be facing the model so that it get you know you don't want the so that it, it gets a flatter cut on the surface yeah this thing so some of this you can just work off and yeah yeah all right and before we move on that's a pretty big piece of flash right there that's where piping was you can tell mm. try and do your best to get stuff with that some of that's got to get done with the hobby knife because that's her actual arm and we want that to kind of be smooth like she's not wearing anything she's not a robot that's an arm it needs to look like an arm some flash on this too mold lines doesn't look like I'm seeing any mold lines on this piece alright so this piece right here sticking out we'll use that to stab into the base so that it affixes to the base it affixes to the base better and adheres better alright now is the actual main bulk of the model and she looks pretty cool she got like her, her strap to the satchel where her, like I guess those are grenades and like she got her ponytail sticking out, out like the trucker hat that's pretty cool I don't know if anybody remembers that like brief time in the early 90s when it was super cool to be a trucker like Smokey and the Bandit was coming out and yeah it was a wild time we don't talk about it much but like yeah for like 20 minutes during the 80s it was super cool to be a trucker so this is another peg similar to this one so we're gonna cut this down also so that it's more manageable a size and That way we can also stick this one in there, just to give it more stability. I'm not sure how I'm going to do magnetizing her yet. Like, I like to magnetize my bases, and like you can see there's like little slots in the base for magnets. But I try to like magnetize more than just one slot. Because like, stuff moves around and like I'd rather have more magnets than less. So, alright. Check her for mold lines. Now you might think to yourself, does cutting metal with your hobby knife dull it? And the answer is, yes, it dulls the crap out of it. That's why you get hobby knife blades in bulk off the internet. Trim the mold line. Right. All right. So it's looking all right. And we'll dry fit some of this just for a sanity check. All right. So that's the socket. That's the that's the thing. All right. That looks like the box art all right all right that looks like the box art good all right cool now this arm it's got her slinging it over her head All right, we have a fit. I can't stress enough, dry fit everything before you try and glue it together. 
You don't want to find out you did something the wrong way after you glued it and gotten super glue in the joint. Like, don't don't find out the hard way. All right, and actually, this could stand to be trimmed down a little bit because it's not fitting in the socket 100%. Looks like it's got a little nubbin on it. Alright, so try dry fitting that again. Alright. There we go. Alright, check from the back. Let's see how it looks in the back. There we go, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Okay, cool. Now, this arm's hanging down kinda lazily by her side like so does how many nubbins doesn't look like it all right fits right in there that all right this is going to be kind of thin and spindly i don't i'm not that good at flesh tones in the first place that's why i paint so many robots but we'll see what i can do with it uh, we'll see what i can do with it um yeah See what I can do with the face too. It's got the interesting challenge of you if it's lit from above, then like that that face is gonna be covered by the hat. So I think on this rather than trying to be a hero, I might just uh do a generalized lighting scheme so that there's a diffuse light everywhere all over the model. Um because I'm just doing this model for fun. For funsies. And I don't, I'm not trying to be a hero on this. Alright. Anyway, back to this guy. Alright, so this seems to be dry. Alright, so what we do with this is we just cut around. Just cut around. Alright. So. We've got our basic round shape, you can see. But, get a little tighter. Knead it up a little bit. Do as much work with the, I'm doing as much work with the clippers as I can before I head to the files. Because eventually we're gonna file this to make it more even. To make it, like, flush. And this is gonna, the, this facing, this facing piece is gonna make an interesting challenge when I when I start filing. So stay tuned for that drama. It's already given us a little bit of an issue when we're trying to clip. But it's easier to use the clippers if you can, and but like you'll you see how that's nice and corrugated, so it gives some texture rather than just a flat base, and it makes it look like you know she's on a spaceship or something. Like that's a nomad thing is to be on a spaceship. Next file. Actually, I could probably do some work with this. Probably do a little work with this and just clear it off like that with the with the exacto. I don't want to get struck with a copyright protection thing from YouTube for playing music on my phone while I'm trying to talk through this. All right, so that's cleaner. All right, now we get. The, all right, yeah, you can still see. Let's just clean that up and we gotta watch out once again we gotta watch out for the for those markings like you see that there I gotta watch out for it maybe what we'll do is I 
because the object is to make it look like one piece of plastic not like you slapped another piece of plastic onto another piece of plastic sometimes they even accomplish that alright alright looks like we're doing an okay job here now we're going to get out the secret weapon. I'll show you what it is. It's the nail thingy. If you've seen me work with plastic before, you know that I've used the nail thingy like to because these things are great. They have coarse, less coarse, super not coarse at all. Like and it'll make it'll smooth out this nicely and you can get them for like a dollar at the pharmacy. And we just go to town. Um, yeah, you can see how that's coming out. The other thing is, you gotta watch out for the facing markers. So, alright, for the facing marker, put this on the edge here. I'm just trying to do this like this. And, you know, get that going. And the back we can just kind of go to town with, because, like, that's... Um, as you can see, we're making it look more like a flush piece. More like one flush piece, and we still have preserved our facing markers. This is a little bit gummed up, but it's fine. And then what do we do? We move to the next one and go to town. Yeah, why not? We're here. What am I doing? It's three in the morning. I got no place to be. Yeah. That's gratifying when it comes out shiny like that. Yeah. And do this all the way around. This is more fine grit, so I'm not super worried about whether or not I I scuff up these because it's you know this is the last stage. Do this a little bit more. Alright. That's nice and shiny and smooth. Alright, next. We get to actually building this sucker. Alright, so Loctite, some people rip it out of the thing. They're wise, they get more out of it than I do. Um, Alright, let's get her post set. And... Alright. So let's get her post set, uh, just this. And we're going to glue that together because it's the main bulk of the model. Alright, that's okay. That's going to come up okay. Alright, so just get it in. You don't need a lot. I like the gel because like, you have more control over it. You don't need a lot. It's not like you're going to be playing tug of war with these things. And, alright, get it in there. Let's get this together. Alright, so I don't use accelerant because I don't like the smell and I don't have a lot of ventilation in my office. My, my bedroom, what am I talking about? So, the instructions on this say to hold it for 30 seconds and then leave it without any stress on the joint for 5 full minutes. So we're going to do this. So. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten. All right, I'm not going to keep counting on camera. You get the idea. Okay, it's been about five minutes. We can come back to this. So we're going to glue. We're going to glue her to this base now. To this base now. But what we've got to do is we've got to drill the base before we can put her. You know, we got to drill this base and. Like, we have to 
consider her facing to be in line with these facing markers. So pretty much want her to be here. And what we do now is take a pen, a felt tip pen, and I just see something. Yeah, that's right. Take a felt tip pen and figure out where we want her. So these are the markings and we want her to face this way and we're going to just mark off where these two prongs where these two prongs end up on here so we know where to draw. All right, so facing this way. All right, so one prong lands up here and the other prong ends up here. Right? Yeah, that's about right. Okay, and nothing seems to be hanging off the base when I do that, so, all right. Just mark that a little bit. And you wanna make X's for this because you're more reliably able to find the center of an X than you are the center of a dot. Um, that's just, that's, that's just a, that's actually a carpentry thing. I'm not a carpenter, but I have taken shop class in the school as it is back in the day. Um, all right, so we have drill bits. Let's see which one best fits to her pegs. Are these uniform? All right, that's, yeah, that's looking about, that's looking about right. Uh, do we have anything a little thicker? Nah, that's looking like, all right. All right, so we're gonna use that drill bit but first, we're just gonna carve these pegs down a little bit, shave these down a little bit so that they fit a little better into the holes. All right, so that should be, yeah, that's closer to the size of the pin. And this guy here, that's about the size of the pin. And we'll drill here. Drill, 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 ah, yep, that went through. And happily, this went through here, so I'm not like trying to drill through that cross beam. Let's see if we have as good luck with this one. Find the center of that X. Just start drilling. Let me get my finger out of the way this time. Okay. All right, that's not bad. All right, and we'll just clean that off a little bit. Countersink it a little bit with uh, the X-Acto blade. Countersinking is actually a metal shop thing. Oftentimes when you drill holes in metal, what you do is you countersink them so that they don't have a burr on them to get caught on whatever your material of choice is whatever you're fastening it to. No. Let's just see if this pin fits. Does this fit? Nah, that needs to get trimmed down a little bit more. Where'd I put that exacto knife? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so trim this down a bit. Looked about right when we eyeballed it, but don't always trust your eyes, I guess. All right, so. How's that looking? There we go. That fits, and it fits nice and snugly. So that's good. Now, that's how is this one fitting? Oh, that fits nicely too. That fits nice and snug. Beautiful. All right, and can we get these two together? All right, get it together. Beautiful. All right, and that fits. All right. And now that we know where these pegs are, all right, that fits nicely. Um, the only issue is like, you might see that like, the foot isn't completely flush. We do the best we can with it, but like, that 
is a little problematic with this because it's not an organic surface. I can't just stuff putty in it there and make it look better. But we're going to live with it because this is a fun project. This isn't, this isn't anything I'm going to drive myself crazy over. But now we put a magnet in. Alright, so these are the magnets we've got to work with. Uh, we're keeping them separate from each other because they're magnets and they'll stick together. So the thing is, they don't fit that hole perfectly. It doesn't. It's not going to fit that hole, but what it will fit is there nicely. Not quite as snug as I'd like, but it'll do. And we can put one there and we can put one here. So that's, that's how we're going to work this. And to do that, we're just going to take our Loctite again. And why do I use Loctite? A uh, couple of reasons. One, because it's nice and gel and control. And you can just get a nice controlled gel little dab like that. And the other is because they sell it at the pharmacy. I can just walk down the road and get it at the pharmacy. I don't have any hobby shops near me, so I don't have, like, ready access to, like, good... Not, not that this is perfectly good glue. It's, it's actually really good glue. But yeah, I don't have access to, like, a hobby shop, so I don't have my pick of glue. So if they got good glue at the pharmacy that I want to use, then that's how we do it. And put this here. All right, and we'll take the next one and we'll put it in there. And hold these for 30 seconds, leave them for five minutes on stressed, and we'll be back. All right, so we've left the magnets to dry for a while. Now we're just gonna put our arms on. Centered more. All right, we'll start with the spindly little arm, and now that we've got the leg glued in place, let's dry fit that again. Let's keep the box art handy so we know what we're doing. All right, and Yep, that looks like box art. All right. All right. Box art. All right, one, two. We're not gonna watch me dry this for a second. All right, so we got the one arm on. It's nice and flush. Looks like box art. Time for this arm. And once again, we'll dry fit it. All right, dry fit is go. All right, and we're gonna try the opposite approach because it was kind of a pain in the backside to do it the other way. So let's do this. And let's get it going, come on. All right, bicep part lines up with bicep part and let's do this one, two, three, nine, thirty and glued to my finger. How to get my finger off of here without ripping it off. There we go. There we go. All right, it's glued together. All right, and I'll let that sit for five minutes. But, so another reason why I magnetize these bad boys is because I put washers on top of my paint handles. Actually, we'll use one of the nice red grass game paint handles and the magnets attach nicely to that so I can just doot 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 and I don't have to get like gunk all over the bottom then I switch like I don't have to like I don't have to try and like pull gunk out of there for like the the attaching stuff um not to say there's anything wrong with it if like you know people do use like gunk to attach their their models like that's a tried and true method people have been doing it all the time but like I magnetize I'm magnetizing this model anyway I might as well take advantage of that so and nice with the red grass cap so you can do that so this is pretty much where we're at for her tonight um, huh. if there's enough interest maybe I'll make a video of me actually painting her uh, for the paint scheme I'm probably gonna follow pretty close to the box art not cuz like I'm gonna try and mimic the box art but because she's basically like that's a lot of NMM the boots are just, like big stompy metal boots this crate is just a big stompy metal crate. That's another big stompy metal boot. 
like her pants we'll just paint them pants colored her shirt it's like a tank top we'll make it tank top colored in the box art they do it like you know this light nice like light green bluish type color i don't know maybe we'll stick with that um you know but the guns are gun color and all her straps are all strap leather color so it's not you know it's not like i'm going to be painting the leather straps and the leather satchel like chartreuse <laughs> or like you know i'm not you know whatever it's not you know it's not like they're going to be like bright orange or they're, they're going to be like you know any crazy color so yeah but anyway here's where we are with her all right, so we're winding down to the end of this video. Um, this video has been a bit more real time than my normal videos are. Like I've show, I've cut it down and edited it a lot less than I normally do. And I didn't do an artificial voiceover. I just spoke while I was filming what I was filming. So that I mean, that's you know what was happening. Uh, yeah. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see me paint her um i mean i may or may not film painting her anyway but you know if you guys have emotions on that then let me know in the comments uh here she is on her red grass base and with both of our shotguns and her tactical rock so yeah that's her uh if you like this hit like and subscribe uh hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or if you just want to say hi or once again, if you have any interest in whether or not you want to see the model painted. Uh, yeah, all right. Have a good day.